training and development last video we learned about the selection process i hope all of you have su subscribed to the channel so that you can get the updates on the latest videos which i am posting or uploading now this class we will study what is this word called training and development now what is the questions that will be asked in this particular topic you have eight markers and four markers that will come from this topic and this topic is the last topic in the chapter called staffing so you actually see pictures here that i have uploaded where most of the words that you're learning here is knowledge skill experience teaching and development and these are the words which will repeat in the entire topic called training and development so let me not waste time let me move into the topics that you will be learning you will be learning the meaning of training and development and training methods is divided into on the job and off the job which will come for an eight marker then you have the benefits of training to the organization and benefits of training to the employee each comes for a four marker but put together it will be asked for an eight marker so if you know the mind map of the topic that you are studying it will be easy for you to learn the topic so first we will be studying the meaning then we will move on to the training methods and then we will move on to the benefits of training to the organization and to the employees so please listen and please make notes in the topic now starting with the meaning of training all of you know what is the if i ask you what is the meaning of training you know at least you can understand telling that training is something which we don't know how to use a tool or an equipment or we don't know what exactly uh, we are going to learn about so we are going to get trained on it so what is it it is the it is a process by which your aptitude and your skills are getting improvised so what is happening you can perform really well in your job now let me tell you something in all my ppts you see that i have added a lot of sentences or points so that any time you want any notes it will be easy for you to take it down by pausing the button you can make down your own notes so that is the reason you see my ppts have a lot of notes also okay and i am also highlighting the words which you have to concentrate and these words have to be there in your answers so what is the meaning of training it is nothing but it's improvising your skill your abilities whose abilities are we talking about employees abilities so that they can perform their job really well now you are an employee you are learning new skills and you are applying these skills to your current job or to your new job okay so that is the meaning of training so these words which i have highlighted should be there in your answer now what is the meaning of development development is nothing but you as an employee has gained skills has gained ability and knowledge to do your job that only is not enough for you to perform well in your job you need to get improvised or you need to do really well if you want to move up the ladder so what is what you should do you have to grow not physically but you have to uh, grow by potentially you have to grow in the organization for that you need to develop yourself so how are you going to develop yourself by showing growth in your personality like example any organization you join if you want to get promoted you need to uh, you need to attend a lot of these workshops or seminars so what are the importance of these workshops and seminars they will teach you a lot of things like tools or they'll teach you they'll give you training on a lot of these uh, opex operational excellency tools which you have to learn if you want to move up the ladder so what is develop I mean, it refers to learning opportunities, which is designed to help employees grow. Growth means how in your job that you are performing, or to the higher job that you are performing, you need to be little matured, and your personality needs to be growing, so that whatever responsibility is being given to you, you will be able to do really well in your particular responsibilities. So. training is not very uh, training is not the only thing that's important even development is very important 
The next one is meaning of education. Now, what is education? All institutions and all uh, your colleges, all these people are giving you something called as knowledge. They are dumping knowledge in you and they're telling you, you need to know this, you need to know that. Why? So that when you step out into any organization or when you're venturing on your own, you, whatever knowledge you have gained through the educational institution, you will be able to put that knowledge, what you have learned into action. Yes, so you need to, when you step out into the world, into the reality, if anybody asks you, what's the meaning of training? Hasn't your college, haven't you learned in your degree? Haven't you learned in your master's? You should be well aware of what is the meaning of the terminologies that you are learning in your educational institution. So that those theoretical things can be implemented or turned into practical. It will be very easy for the organization to implement your theory into practical. So this difference between training and development will come for a two marker. So I've just taken, um, I've just uh, put it down here for you so that it will be easy for you to learn the answer here itself. Now what is the meaning of training? You already know it increases your knowledge, it increases your skill. What's the meaning of development? You already have knowledge and skill in training. So here it is learning and growth, growth personally, so that you will be able to take more responsibility. Now, what's the second point? It enables employees to do the job better. Why? Because you are either a new employee or you're an old employee who's joining a new organized, uh, let's say a new department. So again, you need to get trained. So what is it? It helps you to do your job better. But here it's your overall growth of your employee. That's uh, mentally as well as personally. Next one is it's job oriented process. But here it's career oriented process. That's if you want to move into a higher position, you need to get developed. For that, you need to attend a lot of these workshops and seminars and you need to know a lot of things. Okay. So moving on to the next topic, very important topic is an eight marker training methods. So what is the training methods? Training methods is divided into on the job training and off the job training. This will come for an eight marker. Please learn it. It's very, very important. In simple, I'll tell you what is on the job. Word itself is telling you on the job means when you are doing the work itself, you are getting trained by your, let's say by your buddy or by your um, person who is there to train you. That is what is called on the job. That is on in the department, on the floor itself, you are getting trained on the job. So simultaneously you learn as well as you continue to do the job. Just that somebody is looking at you, how you are doing and they are correcting you then and there. What is the meaning of off the job training? Here you are not stepping into the department. You are put into a classroom or you are put into a place even more separate from the department where the real work is taking place and you are getting trained there on how you have to perform the job. So once you get trained properly, how you have to use the equipments or how you have to use the tools, once you are really good in it, then only they will put you into the department department for on the job. So these are the two, um, what do I say, training methods. That's first one is on the job and the second one is off the job. So what is this um, on the job and off the job? Now on the job method refers to the method that is applied to workplace where employee is actually working. That's what I told you. Employee is actually working here. There is nothing that uh, they are telling you they are telling you that, okay, you're going to get trained in one separate place and then you're going to come and work. Nothing like that. Wherever you're going to work, whichever system you're going to work, there itself you enter the first day and there itself there's a person who's going to train you simultaneously and you're going to start doing the job. Now, what is the meaning of off the job? Off the job is nothing but you are learning outside the place from where you are going to start working. So what is it? Are used away from the workplace. That means if this, uh, the room where you are in, if that is the workplace where you're supposed to do your job, you're not going to get trained there. They're going to put you in one classroom or lecture mode and then teach you how to do the job. And then only they're going to put you on the floor. So now this on the job, I put a small diagram. What are the types of on the job training methods? Okay, not very important diagram, but when you look at the points, you'll be able to understand along with the pictures. So the first one uh, on the job is apprenticeship 
programs it's called as apprenticeship programs now what is this you are called as the trainee and i am called as the trainer why because i know how to do the job and i am your master okay so what am i doing i'm guiding you and i'm telling you how you need to do your job and you are called as my trainee that's nothing but you i you are called as an apprentice okay so what is happening here you work below someone and they help you to acquire a lot of skill in the level of job mainly this kind of training is given to skilled job people example plumbers electricians iron workers where it is not very easy for you to learn the job on your own so in that kind of uh, in those kind of jobs you always have a trainer here okay who's training the employees and telling them how to use the particular tools okay so that is where the trainees will also be able to understand that is what is called as apprenticeship training so what is it who is it for keywords skilled job especially for plumbers electrician iron workers they'll ask you as an example then what is the person doing here he is guiding the he is guiding the apprentice or is guiding the trainee and he is passing the required level of skill required for him to do the job so what is happening these apprentices that is you are getting trained on how much um, guidance you need okay and within how many months or within how many days you will be able to learn the job so these are the key points so these are your figures or these are your examples that i have given here think the next one is coaching remember your coach that you have let's say your sports coach just an example i'm giving you what does your sports coach tell you okay let's say you're an athlete your sports coach tells you that you need to eat this is going to be your diet you need to uh, like run like let's say 400 km or 400 meters or 500 meters you need to stretch and you need to do your warm up every single day so what is he he is your super, superior guide okay he instructs you who are you you are a trainee he is instructing the trainee and telling the trainee that i am your coach and we are going to achieve these goals that we have set so by the next month you should be uh, you should be ready to run this 400 meters and you should be ready to achieve your goals so what is happening he is your guide he is your instructor and he is your coach he is telling you that we will be able to achieve these goals and there's a time period that is set for you to achieve these goals so what is happening he is checking your progress and he is checking your performance from time to time and he gives you feedback whether you are able to whether you are doing good or whether you know you need to improve what is it he the coach is giving you your guidance and feedback the next third one is internship training please remember we are doing on the job training on the job means what when you are doing the job itself these people are helping you simultaneously or they teaching you how you need to do the job okay so internship training means what please remember the keyword it refers to educational institutions and business firms cooperate so what happens here selected candidates carry on regular studies for a prescribed period they also work in some factory now the best example here i can give you is of a chartered accountant okay now who is this chartered accountant or a ca a chartered accountant or a ca is a person who is very much qualified in the highest degree of accountancy now what happens if you want to become a chartered accountant what is the prescribed course you need to do you need to uh, let's say when you're doing your degree itself in your first year degree itself you can take this course called chartered accountancy you can register for this course called chartered accountancy and what you have to do is there are various levels of exams that you need to write in i think the second year or something you need to uh, have your internship done with a chartered accountant that means you need to go and work with a chartered accountant in his office now what is the use of it when you are working with a chartered accountant he is teaching you 
uh, he is giving you files and telling you please close these balance sheets please solve these profit and loss statements all these things he is telling you so what is happening you are gaining practical knowledge and skill when you are working in that particular office so simultaneously you start writing your exams in the educational institution you write your degree exam as well as in the chartered accountant uh, institution itself you write your ca exams also why because you have practical knowledge which you have gained from your chartered accountant under whom you are working so this is what is called as internship training even your lawyers when they are even doctors when they are studying itself they need to they'll be working below a doctor where the doctor will be teaching them how to handle these various cases so that is what is the meaning of in internship training next one is job rotation please understand under on the job training we only have four okay so the, this is the last one under on the job this is job rotation this kind of training involves shifting the trainee now you are called as trainee i am called as trainer what are we doing we are shifting the trainee from one department into another department see the pictures i have put for you so let's say from a finance department you are shifting let's say from inner finance department from accounts payable department you are transferring him to accounts receivable department so what is happening he is getting transferred from one department to another department so what is happening here he knows how the organization functions as a whole but still he needs training so that he will be able to improve his aptitude and his ability to do the current job okay it's very very simple if you actually can read whatever i have typed here for you and the highlighted words is more than enough so nothing but job rotation means a employee shifting into another department so that his aptitude and ability will be able to improve so that's the reason you are giving him training okay that is on the job training now coming down to the next topic the next topic is off the job training so long we actually saw on the job training now what is the meaning of off the job training off the job training means you're completely taking the new person whoever has joined your organization or probably an existing person who's transferred into another department if you feel that that particular job needs a lot of training or needs a lot of uh, uh, let's say it's very difficult for him to do that time these kind of off the job training is done for uh trainings okay where you put them in classroom or there are different types of modes the one under off the job training is classroom lecture and conferences i am sure most of you are college students and most of you are studying in any educational institution so you already know what is this classroom lecture or conferences what is happening here whatever information whatever rules whatever procedures have to be taught to the trainee is taught in a formal classroom through a presentation that's nothing but you see a picture here you see these pictures nothing but it's a classroom situation where the trainer here is teaching the trainee sitting here so it's just like a classroom presentation he is probably showing them ppt slides or showing them let's say um the power yeah he's showing them ppt slides or presentations telling them how their job has to be done so it becomes very easy for the trainees to understand how the job has to be handled okay the next one is what films now what is this films it demonstrates skills now how is it demonstrating skills the things that cannot be taught very easily can be shown through a form of film okay through a form of a movie this is some of the techniques like the uh, techniques which cannot be explained very easily you can just play a video or a movie for them and through that they will be able to hand understand what the, what the job is all about so things like let's say see here uh, it is very effective method in certain cases so only certain kinds of jobs will be requ uh, will require these kind of training otherwise not everything will require this kind of training the one is case study the word itself is telling you we are taking a case here and we are asking the trainees what do they think about the case now let's say we take two organizations case okay one is apple another one is samsung 
there was a case that was filed by apple i guess telling that samsung had copied some of their uh, uh, software inbuilt software whatever it is so what happened apple filed a case and later the i think the touch screen the that screen is what they filed a case for or i don't know some uh, some let's say some software inbuilt software was the, uh, robbed from uh, by samsung so what happened this case study uh, is given to these trainees so that they will understand how they go about the case study and what is the relevant facts and they will understand how problems are solved in the real world the scenario in an organization so what are the uh, what are the trainees learning they are learning how to uh, how to find out the cause and how to develop solutions for a given problem based on the case study i'm just giving you one of the case study you don't have to go in depth of seeing if really there was a case study like this but i'm just telling you so what is happening here any trainee who's joining the organization several case studies will be given to them that is actual experiences which really happen and these cases will be represented to the trainees so that they will be able to understand the cases and what happens the trainees study the case and they find out the problem and they analyze whether there was justice that was given to the case if they were the manager of they were uh, in that place what solutions they will come out with and how would they implement the best solution so all this can be learned through a case study yes the next one is computer modeling what is the word itself is telling you it is computer modeling please understand it refers to realistic job realistic job means what it is in the work environment where it is all related to your hardware and your software and all these kind of things so what is happening you have a system front of you you see this example here you have let's say we talk about a call center job in a call center job if most of the time you have off the job training you don't have off on the job training if it's a technical call center why the trainer each of you all will have a system or a laptop and you will be getting trained for the first 2 3 months so that you will know how to take calls how to solve the problems like ip address or whatever problems are of the customers so basically it will be like you are sitting in your uh, you are sitting in a room where you are really getting calls and really getting solution problems and uh, how you have to go about the problems what is the use of this computer modeling you will be solving a lot of problems on your computer okay you will feel that these problems are all real organizational problems but you are solving all dummy problems dummy problems means these are problems which are not uh, which were existing but the server is not connected to the uh, let's say it's not connected to the customer whatever problems you are solving your manager is the only one who can view all these problems because you are in training period but what happens you feel you get a real world situation of how exactly the problems come how exactly you have to face the problems how exactly you have to solve the problems so what is happening when you are put on the job to really do the uh, to take calls and handle the customer problems you are much more confident because you have already done this in your training period so that is what is computer modeling what is happening you are you are put into a work environment but actually it's not a work environment you are in a room here and realities are given to you or the real jobs are given to you but whatever answers you are giving your manager is able to view this and you feel that yes i am able to solve the problems i'm confident on doing the job that is what is computer modeling the next one is vestibule training now what is vestibule training please understand again it's conducted in a classroom but there is a difference between computer modeling and vestibule training computer modeling is related to your computers and this is related to your equipment so that is the difference you need to know materials and equipments and files okay and you are handling sophisticated machinery so here again you are not in the actual workplace you are in a training uh, let's say a room and you have all these machines and equipments where you are learning and getting trained by your trainer so what is happening once you learn how to do this job properly 
and then once you learn how to do the let's say the job on the equipments properly then you are put into your training uh, sorry not training on the job so that you will be able to do your job perfectly so what is the use of it the use is you don't have to the in your training period you are learning how to use sophisticated machines sophisticated means complicated machines you are able to learn how to use these complicated machines in your training period in a classroom away from your actual work flow once you are confident and once you clear all your tests and everything then they will put you on the job in the department full fledgedly for you to do the job the next one is programmed instructions now please see this di this example here i put here what is happening here word itself is telling you instructions are programmed so what is happening here it is a method where you have some specific skills or general knowledge okay the information is broken into meaningful units and these units are arranged so what they will give you they'll give you the problem there they'll give you the solution there you need to arrange the solution they'll give you a problem and for the problem they'll give you a solution so there are four steps to the solution the solution is all jumbled like one is in three and four is in five five like that they are jumbled the answer so what you need to do you need to read the problem and you need to ensure that the jumbled answer is rearranged properly now what how, what is the need how are you going to go about this the trainee goes through these units by answering questions or by filling the blanks and you are using your logical thinking and you are using the uh, knowledge that you have gained uh, previously or however your your uh, let's say your trainee is taught you that knowledge and that skill you are using to rearrange your answer to the perfect problem okay that is what is called as programmed instruction that means you have a problem friend of you for that problem you have answers the answers are jumbled okay however the answers are jumbled you ensure that you are reframing the answer in the right paragraph so that whatever problem is there in your real world when you're working on the floor you will be able to analyze it and judge it and you'll be able to solve the problem by this we close on the job and off the job training now the next topic which is four marker plus a four marker put together is an eight marker a very very simple and easy answer please ensure to study this answer because it's included two years back in the new syllabus and most of the time now it's going it's asked so please ensure you're studying topic now what is the importance of training and development it help i have just put a general slide so that it you will know why you should be trained why you should be developed basically to improve your skills to improve your knowledge you are ensuring that you are satisfied as an employee because you are not worried you don't know how to do the job your performance is increasing your productivity is increasing quality and quantity wise so what is happening your employee employee morals are increasing and your what is happening you know how to tackle any problem you are not worried and once you are trained you are able to do your job you don't need anybody to help you to do your job so what is the benefits of training to the organization words highlighted is the only thing that you need to study you will be able to write this four marker okay so how are you going to attempt this question they are asking you if an organization is training an employee how is the organization on the advantage side or what is the advantage to the organization when an employee is getting trained when an organization is training an employee systematic learning is taking place why systematic learning there is a procedure how an employee is supposed to get trained so there is no confusion so what is happening the organization is not wasting money or wasting efforts on the employee they are able to tell the employee this is step 1 step 2 step 3 please follow these step this is the way we are going to train you employees are also clear in their training style or method second one is when an employee gets trained the productivity of the employee is increasing both quantity wise as well as quantity quality wise and this leads to higher profit for the organization and next thing is it's easy for the trainees to become future managers in case of emergency why 
because the trainees are well they really they know how to do their job because they have systematically they have learned how to do their job so four points sorry three points is here but it will come for a four marker so one mark will go for your uh, let's say your meaning the next one is benefits to the employee so when the employee is getting trained what is happening how is the be employee benefiting his skills and his knowledge is getting improved i told you everywhere these words will repeat okay then his performance will increase when his performance increases vice versa what will increase he can get promoted soon he can get more salary increment next one what is happening he is more efficient enough confident enough to handle his job or even on the machines like vestibule training or even on the computer software or hardware and what is happening he is very satisfied as an employee to do his job confidently and he moves up the ladder look at all the pictures i have put here for you so here again all the words are repeating this again is a very important four marker please ensure to study this answer now any doubts you have please ensure to leave me a message or text me so that i will be able to uh, solve your doubts and please subscribe the more you subscribe the more it's going to help you for you to look into all the other videos and study thank you have a blessed day and any doubts please let me know